Hello everyone. So in this video, we'll see how we implement dependency injection in uh, services and form. So we'll start with the form. Um, for implementing dependency injection in forms, like in controllers, we should have two functions defined. One is the constructor and another one is the create function. Uh, the constructor function we use is to define the dependencies we would be needing or we want for our uh, class which is drupal hex form or the form here in my case i need two dependencies one is the uh, current account the user is accessing this url with and another one is the messenger service uh, i would be needing this service to display a status message uh, whenever a user i have actually created a routing for this uh, form so let me go the form is accessible on this path so i will go and the form is here so what i'm doing is whenever i'm submitting anything here i'll get a status message of the message i'll type it so for that displaying that status message i'm I'm defining a dependency of messenger interface. Mm. Uh, through this create function, I am actually creating the object for those dependencies uh, through this late static binding here. Uh, the first, uh, as I told, the first service, which is the current user, would ins uh, instantiate object for this service, messenger for this service. Then um that is it we need for for, for the form to run uh, with dependency injection let's see how, if it is working or not i'm writing this message this is my message and it is giving me a status message with message from admin is this is my message how i am doing this is let's see in the code in the submit uh, form function i'm using this uh, service called current user service and a property account to get the current user uh, a username of the current user and the message uh, uh, from this get values of the form and i'm using this message service to display the status this is how we use dependency injection in form uh, before closing about the forms let me show you if i would have to use the old way of directly calling the services without using dependency injection how i would do that i would simply copy this and paste it here let's see if it works or not Hola. it is working this is a successful message but this is not a legit or preferred way next topic is to discuss how we can implement dependency injection in services so for implementing dependency injection in services what do we have to do we have to simply uh, we uh, for implementing ser in services we can simply define the arguments of, of what services we want so here in, in my case i want two services the config factory and the other one is the current user so uh, this saves us uh, saves the time of uh, defining create method i would just in my service if the here is the service i would simply need to define the constructor of what service i want i have defined these two services and uh, in controller and in form we were using create method but in service we would simply use this argument of the service.yml file as in what services we want so i'll go to my service and specify that this service i want so uh, we'll see if this service is working or not. So for this, I'll go and define a dependency of, I mean, calling my service in this form. I'll go and this is the machine name of my service. And I'll copy. So I want one another dependency, I'll paste it here. 
so I want one more dependency. I paste here. I want utility as my dependency. And I have to make a use statement. So I have defined my assigned in my pro property. Create method on construct done and let's see if I'm getting any error or not. Create clear the cache. Ah, I got an error. If you're getting error, which means you're on the right path, <laughs> Google is recognizing your changes. It is Saying that uh, there is no such file called as this. Drupal, Drupal helps. Uh, okay. Let's go to my service. Okay. Was not correct and the service was banned. So, simply with the, instead of using the account service, I'll use my service, my utility service for getting the site name as well as the username account name. So, I'll use On Drupal Hacks, which is the site name, message from admin is everything which, which means I'm using my service with a legit way, which is dependency injection. 